He really loves that mic. He does look pretty determined. Let's listen in as he addresses the WWE Universe. Shh. We thought we might hear from him tonight. Something tells me he's all business tonight. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, this should be good. Very well put. The fans are eating it up. A fan favorite.
Well, that's the first time we've seen that move tonight from either locker room. I kind of love it. John Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. This guy's fine. Don't worry about him. Well said, John. And now's the time for one of these guys to take hold of this match. That may be the first time we've seen that executed. There it is. Well done. Taking those legs right out from under him. Just brought him crashing to the canvas with thunderous authority. Man, that was some slam. And the speculation begins. Was this one ruled a no contest? I guess your guess is as good. The following contest, it's a ladder match. And it's for the WWE Hardcore Championship. And from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. Amazingly, Dean Ambrose is almost as dangerous on his own as he is with the shield by his side. And that's a scary thought, Cole. True, but scary. This one is going to be an all-out brawl. And from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds, Rakishi. This match is going to be the definition of bedlam. But we're going to do our best to call a match to the best of our ability. Bedlam, chaos. Oh, what more could we ask for? It's money in the bank, but not where one lucky competitor comes one step closer to realizing the ultimate dream. Weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye. And this is one of those times. The challenger is staring a potentially career-changing victory right in the eye. Representing the Brothers of Destruction from Death Valley. Weighing in at 300 pounds, he is the WWE Hardcore, The Undertaker. We're moments from writing another page in the WWE history books with this six-man matchup. Are you serious, Cole? Do you think this could be historic? Big opportunity to prove yourself here on SmackDown.
from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. Well, this guy looks eager to add some gold around his waist. Let's see if he can do it. Thank you for spending part of your evening with us. We think you're really going to enjoy this upcoming match. From Yonkers, New York, weighing in at 256 pounds, Extreme. Anytime you have six of the best WWE superstars in the ring, you know history is going to be made. And no exception here tonight. This could be a classic. A win here would do wonders for this guy's career. What a night we have in store for you. Thank you for joining us. I'm Michael Cole alongside Jerry the King Lawler on what should be an amazing night of action. Yeah, and I don't know which match I'm looking forward to the most, Michael, but what I do know is that we're just moments away from kicking this thing off. We're starting things off strong tonight. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Oh, man. How much damage did that cause to the neck? Yes. And the pain has to be shooting through his face. Guys, let's briefly discuss the challenger. At this point, he may very well be one of the most popular superstars in all of WWE. Well, I've seen competitors get lost in the shovel of all that talent and the ring at the same time, but I don't think we have to worry about that here. Plenty of confidence being shown right now. Oh, it's going to take a lot from him to do this. But if he leaves here tonight without any new scars, he might consider that a victory. The challenger's taking on some offense. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Don't worry about this guy, Michael. It's going to take a lot more to keep him down. Well, it's hard to argue that. But I'd say this one could go either way. This is a beating inside and out. Yeah, external and internal. Dean Ambrose can go stride for stride with any superstar in WWE, no matter how big or small. Ambrose launches a frenzied assault on opponents that combines brawling, air assaults, and submissions. Well, Michael, what makes the attacks you mentioned even more deadly for an opponent is that Dean Ambrose is one of the most unconventional superstars we've ever seen. No one knows what he's going to throw at any opponent next. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's low. It's appalling, if you ask me. Totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees a belt, he likes to hit below it. Just playing a wide range of offense here. Rikishi not where he wants to be right now. Well, he knew the champion wasn't going to go down easy here tonight. And at this point, it looks to me like this match is as even as it could get. 
Dean Ambrose's range of skills certainly venture into the unusual, but the attacks and strategies helped Ambrose become the longest reigning United States champion in WWE history with a 351-day championship reign. That's the third longest ever if you include the title's history in WCW and the NWA. Inside the ring now. Cole, what you got in mind? And a wicked close line. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. That move should do it. I mean, this should have been over a while ago. Come on, Rap. Yeah, this should be over. You know, Dean Ambrose looks a little unhinged, and I won't argue that. But when you see Ambrose dismantle his opponents with speed, high-flying attacks, and all sorts of violence, there's no doubt that there's definitely a method to his madness. And the elbow finds its mark. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What a shot. What a shot from the ladder. Good grief. Tremendous impact for that ladder. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. When this guy's on, look out. Uh-oh. Looks like this one's going out to the floor. What was your first clue? Champ not looking good right now. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. Here's the deal with this guy. You can knock him around all you like, but he's just gonna keep getting up and coming back at you. And did you see the look on his face when that second finisher didn't put him away? I don't think he expected that. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Okay, look out. He's got it in his hands now. Come on, you gotta be fast. A bad place to be for the challenger. The champ clearly getting the best of him here. You said it, and he does not want to let his opponent gain some steam here and start to get the upper hand. You know, this match is far from over, Michael, and it can really go either way at this point. Yeah, I don't think there's a clear-cut favorite right now. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Impending doom being thrust upon Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose could be on the proverbial dream street after that one. Oh, you're right. Good grief. I think I felt that one from all the way over here. He's so close to being declared Mr. Money in the Bank. Think of the risk and sacrifices these guys are taking to get that down. This is unreal. Rikishi beginning to look a little weak right there. And you have to wonder how much the challenger can sustain at this point. Well, this might finally be where one of these guys starts to pull away. He's taking on quite a bit of punishment here tonight. And I doubt there's a single person in this audience sympathizing with him. That's what happens when you show absolutely no respect for your opponent or this business. He's been knocked out of the ring again. Here we go. that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, we're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The breeze may give him a cold. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. The top of that ladder looks awfully far away. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh, man, crashing and burning. Look at him here. He's right there with the briefcase in his hands. Oh, this is scary. I can tell you from experience, it feels like you're 10 miles in the air now. Back in the ring again. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Back in the ring now. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Interesting move here, taking the match to the outside. Interesting and dangerous. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. The ascent begins. Up, up, and away. Look at this. 
He's so close to being declared Mr. Money in the Bank. He's just as dangerous on that ladder as he is on the mat. Oh, man, that's not very smart. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. And again, the mind games are played. Uh oh, looks like this one's going up to the floor. What was your first clue? Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. He's right there with the briefcase in his hands. Here we go. Back inside the ring. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. Back in the ring again. Thrown out with the thorn. Man, he hit hard. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing rounds. They're pulling out all the stops. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive out here? I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. There's a point where all of your training goes right out the window and you rely on instinct after getting beaten twice. Oh my God, his body's been through hell and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damage ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. I love these ladder matches. They're so dangerous. Oh, I know you, Cole. You're just a man who loves danger, aren't you? He's literally touching victory. can no longer compete in the WWE. This is going to be a night we will never forget. Inside the ring now. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Heading up. He's so close to earning a championship opportunity at the time of his choosing. I think he almost has it.
inside the ring. Tossed out like a rag doll. He dropped like a stone kick. How many cliches can you and I use? Dropped him like a bad habit. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. Why not? If it's working, don't change it. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. This just gets worse. We talk about separation between you and your opponent as a key to victory. I don't know how you can be expected to do that when you're getting beaten all the hell. See him giving up. Higher and higher. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. Look out. Baron Corbin is measuring. Back inside now. No way. What a move from Baron Corbin. That's how you impress the WWE Universe, folks. This is insane. 
Does this building have a curfew? I feel like we might be here all night. What a beating. He's just getting dissected. Well, this might be the worst yet. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. Kane making his statement as we speak. What type of competitor is favored when you step outside the ropes, King? Well, in my opinion, the more vicious, the more destructive person that's willing to do absolutely anything to hurt his opponent, regardless of the consequences, he has the advantage. If you're just tuning in, I'm Michael Cole. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday evening. Interesting move here, taking the match to the outside. Interesting and dangerous. You've been here before. Oh, I certainly have. It looks like we're going to see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor. He, hmm, he's so close to earning a championship opportunity at the time of his choosing. Oh, I can't help but think that this one's about to be over. That's it. We have a Money in the Bank winner. Here's your winner, Extreme. Oh my gosh, new champion. And will things in the WWE ever be the same again? You're right, I think the entire landscape of the WWE just changed. But let's not forget, we have a new champion. And folks. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the championship. And I don't recall the last time I saw a challenger walk to the ring with so much confidence. You get the feeling that the challenger just refuses to be denied here tonight. Well, guys, the question of how well this tag team functions will be answered in this match. They've done well in the past, but you're right. Tonight may be a different story. The challenger has a lot to prove here tonight, and I assure you, the champion has no plans on getting knocked off. What champion comes in here planning on getting knocked off?
Introducing the challengers. At a combined weight of 590 pounds, Eric Rowan and Luke Hepper. And introducing the champions. At a combined weight of 535 pounds, they are the Bray Wyatt Smackdown Tag Team and the Viper Randy Orton. The Wyatt Family. Now uh, we are seconds away from the start of this title match. Welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Michael Cole, and to my left, the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. And I want to tell you something, Michael. This might well be one of the most highly anticipated nights of the entire year. This is absolutely fantastic. This takes the adage of practice makes perfect and takes it in a completely new direction. No kidding. Over and over, the same new direction. Tell us your thoughts about Luke Parker. What should be the strategy the challenger in a match like this? Here's somebody who's willing to do just about anything to get to the top. I like it. That's the way it should be. Really? This match can go either way. But I guarantee you it's definitely going to be a good one. And he targets the arm. That's a first. What a move. Definitely sets a tone for the evening. I like it. You know, when you look at Bray Wyatt, he may not resemble your traditional WWE superstar, but believe me, he can move in that ring. On top of his twisted mentality, Bray is strong as an ox and quick as a cat. Bray Wyatt will surprise you with his move for someone who's six foot three and weighs 285 pounds. He's starting to stagger a bit. And it's so hard to create space for yourself in a tornado tag team match such as this. And Michael, this might very well be where one of these guys pulls away from the other. And on top of that, John, these two guys couldn't be any more evenly matched at this point. What makes Bray Wyatt so dangerous is that he actually has the athletic ability and physical strength to systematically dismantle someone exactly the way his ruthless mind tells him to. We talk about demented. Randy Orton showing some adversity right now. Out of the ring. Now what's going to happen? Luke Harper shows us some clever offense here. I understand the idea of being relentless, but I think most would agree repeating a specific move is an unorthodox approach. Well, this guy seems to think it's going to work. Nearly driven through the mat. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive out here? Man, what a brutal attack. I'm telling you, if you didn't suffer from internal injuries before, you are now. I can guarantee it. Oh, there's a lot to hit there. He's endured heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match, King. Oh, my gosh, this is awful. I'm going to tell you something. Whenever you get hit like that, for the next 15 minutes, everybody you see has an exact win. The mama, Eric Rowan, is a walking billboard for psychological terror. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. I'm not sure I can watch this. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. What is Randy Orton's best strategy at this point? This match is clearly taking its toll on the champ. You said it, and he does not want to let his opponent gain some steam here and start to get the upper hand. Well, given what he's gone through thus far, it might take a bold move to put him over the top here tonight, Cole. 
Randy Orton looks like he has taken a toll physically. And that's why the adage holds true. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. I believe that's the first time he's ever attempted this. The champ counters, and you see the result. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. It looks like we're going to see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor. We've seen this before. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. The challenger not in a great place. The champ clearly getting the best of him here. But there is no quit this guy, trust me. This one's far from over. Yeah, but this has been a pretty close battle up until now. Nobody has shown signs of running away with this match. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. With a 180, Eric Rowan, the reverse. Luke Crawford gets out of that one. Nice moves. Eric Rowan laying into him with a punch. And we're back to this form of attack. Yes, we are. The same form of attack we've seen before. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. No kidding. I don't know how Orton's not laid out after that kind of punishment. Ouch! After a move like that, he's going to need to see a chiropractor or a spine specialist. Whatever he's coupled with. No pun intended, of course. Yeah, he, he thinks he has it. Two! Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King but I still don't see him giving up. Oh, boy. You know what's coming here? That famous Spike DDT. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Will it be? here in this tornado tag team action i gotta be honest i wasn't expecting these two to work so well together under tornado tag team rules it's very impressive well that'll put a bow on this tornado tag team match and i think we can all agree that it was exactly as advertised dangerous the wait is over the following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the SmackDown Women's Championship.
and introducing the champion from Parts Unknown, she is the SmackDown Women's Champion, the hardcore icon, Mick E. Cheese. Oh, this match is going to be exciting. I can almost guarantee it. I've never seen anybody as close to unbeatable as the champion we're looking at right now. Wow, that's big coming from you, John. You said you were the most dominant champion of all time. Oh boy, look at the gold. This should be an outstanding match. Thank you for joining us tonight, folks. We have an amazing night ahead of us. Yeah, and we're just moments away from tonight's opening match. I can't wait. This is a perfect way to get things going. Hey, and she wills her way out. You have to wonder just how widespread the back pain is. We'll find out soon enough. No kidding. This is bad. A win for Trish Stratus here would successfully mark the culmination of a long journey to the top. As the challenger, what does she need to do to win this thing? Trish Stratus may be the challenger, but she's as talented, focused, and fiery as any diva in the WWE, including the champ. We'll see if that translates into a title for Trish tonight. I've got a good feeling about her, Michael. I think she might have what it takes to take down the champ. We shall see. That's the first time she's executed that move. She's experimenting. I like that. I love when a diva experiments. Sometimes the point of the elbow is the most effective weapon of all. I think I just heard something snap. No love lost between these two. She is solely focused on that arm. Well, I don't blame her. That's going to work. Well, that's the first time we've seen that move tonight from either locker room. I kind of love it. A powerful kick inflicting some damage. Oh, man, that hurt me just watching it. Oh, close line, knocked her right on her head. She's starting to stagger a bit, but you can bet she won't let this golden opportunity slip away now. You said it, Michael, and these Divas have given us an incredibly even match contest up to this point. Well, I can't argue that point, John, and neither one of these women has really taken control of this match. Great reversal! Hitting your opponent with a move like that makes it obvious she's trying to belittle her opponent. Yeah, she's trying to add insult to injury. Look at this. She's so dangerous. Whoa! Hey, going for the cover. Well, well, well. That's the first time tonight we've seen that move. I wouldn't mind seeing it a little more often. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. Yeah, charge! Look at this! She may be in a bad way here. The pressure of this championship match might just be too much for the challenger. After witnessing this, I don't think I'll lock her chances very much anymore. Wait a minute! We got a cover. 
And the shoulder's up now. That's a kick out. Nice. Somehow, she's still in this matchup. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Right against the top of the head. Stay down. Stay down. Chris Stratus looking totally worn out here. It looks to me like the champ has her number here tonight. Good point, Michael. She really needs to buckle down here if she wants to win this thing. Yeah, things aren't looking so hot for her right now. She's going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. Whoa! Turner's down. The championship on the line. No way. What a kick out. How did that happen? What an amazing display of resiliency. She looks unbeatable tonight. She's really fixated on delivering that maneuver. Wow, I didn't know she had that move in her repertoire. And that's why the adage holds true. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. I believe that's the first. Hey, could this be it? I think so. Uh, she might just be running on instincts at this point, Cole. No, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. She's clearly not shy about proving her dominance. gets out of that one. Nice move. Beautiful. And the move wasn't bad either. Oh, reversal. Ooh. Whoa. Don't get up. Wait a minute. She's going for it again. Impressive showing there and route to the win. Few things are more rewarding than the feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And that's a Divas match. I don't think any of us will soon forget.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Bobby Roode. As we get ready for singles action, I'd like to remind everyone that you can now get your copy of WWE 2K at retailers around the world. Get it now. Man, I can't wait to see these two square off in one-on-one -on -one action. And his opponent, from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 230 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. A win here would do wonders for this guy's career. Here we go, one-on-one -on -one matchup. Big one as well. A lot on the line in this critical battle. Oh, look who's here. What a little support in the corner. I like that. That's fair. Can we start now or what? Thank you for choosing to spend your evening with us. I'm Mike Ducole alongside, as always, Jerry the King Lawler. And I can't think of another place I'd rather be, Michael. We're starting off strong, Michael, and things are just gonna keep getting better. Nakamura with some offense of his own. Here's Nakamura with some offense of his own. Nakamura covers early. Surprise. Right, this guy's resilient. He's not even beat down yet. A crushing elbow delivered. Oh, those elbows are vicious. He's got the neck. And there's the triangle hold. He's looking a little weary here. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Oh, man. He looked incredibly confident coming into this match. Now, hey! And he fights out of it. He breaks the hold. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. He drops the elbow. The 
if he keeps this up, this one will be over in no time. There's the camel clutch, and somehow he's got to take the pressure off his neck. This is not the position you want to be. Watch it! And he powers out. His nose might end up where his ear is by the time this one's over. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Oh, man, and I can guarantee he'll think twice about doing that again. Whoa, take a look at that. We haven't seen that one tonight. I love something new. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> He's begging for it. Nakamura is measuring him. Shoulders down, this could be it. Count, Two, Ruth, count. Three. The referee's calling for the bell. The match is over. Here's your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Put it in the books, and there was no question about that one. Hey, this isn't just about going out there and making sure everybody's entertained. You've got to win your matches, and that's exactly what happened here. A will to win was on display. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was... The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. From the moment he stepped into WWE, the phenomenal AJ Styles has changed the face of WWE now tonight. He looks ready for action once more. Yeah, he really looks ready to go. That's the look of confidence right there. And his opponent, from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Finn Balor.
As we get ready for this match, I'd like to remind everyone that you can now get your copy of WWE 2K at retailers around the world. I've already bought mine. I think it's fair to say that the athleticism on display in this match will be unlike anything we've seen in quite some time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Michael Cole alongside Jerry the King Lawler here at Ringside and King. Tonight should be extremely exciting. Well, you said it, Cole. It looks like we don't have to wait long for the action to start either. Let's go. This one's going to be great. Look at this damage being delivered to the back. Finn Balor has to have a lot on his mind right now. What do you think? He has absolutely no problem getting noticed. He's among the most bold superstars there are. I like his chances here tonight, Michael. I know I'm not breaking any news here, but when it comes to singles competition, he really has what it takes. Well, one thing's for certain. You're never going to overlook him. I mean, not with that type of personality. Down to the floor. Oh, hard. Not where you want to be. Man! I move like that is completely unnecessary. Unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. I agree, Cole. I mean, this is intentional humiliation. If his back wasn't hurt before, it certainly is now. Yeah, and it's going to be hurting for a while. And that drop kick was extremely effective. Well, I've never seen him do that before. He drops the elbow. Just making his presence felt there. That's why the adage holds true. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. I believe that's the first time he's ever attempted this. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. To be expected, though, it's not like he's in there with a slouch, guys. I tell you, we knew this was going to be a close affair, but I don't think we expected it to be this tight. What a match. Well, it's hard to argue that, but I'd say this one could go either way. Acrobatic maneuvers like that require special type of skills. Yeah, that really makes me jealous. AJ Styles makes the cover. Two. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. And he reversed it. Good move there. Whoa. Take a look at that. We haven't seen that one tonight. I love some, a quick pin. Can he do it? Maybe. There's not a person in this arena who thought that was it for him. No, this guy's too strong. This guy's too powerful. Yeah. 
He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. I tell you exactly what he's thinking. Well, if it were me, I'd keep going after the arm. Don't stop until it doesn't work anymore. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh, man, crashing and burning. Looks like he's starting to tire. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. But there is no quit in this guy. Trust me, this one's far from over. Oh, there's a lot of pride in that man, Cole. He's going to fight until there's no more fight left in him. Yeah, pride will allow you to do some great things. It's going to take a lot to change the tide of this one. He's just playing classic offense here. Yeah, and that's when he's the most dangerous. Hoping to end it early. Here. Oh, look at that. He managed to get a shoulder up. Well, like they say, Cole, timing is everything. And he comes crashing down. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? He's in full-on attack mode now. Bang, right to the face. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. Uh-oh, big move coming. Here's Styles. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. AJ Styles hits the deck hard. Gets him the win. Here's your winner, Finn Balor. The shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. Great effort from both these guys, Cole. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.